totally looking like Lord Helmet in this big, huge. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So welcome back to Giant Foods. Today we're doing a big chicken pork ramen challenge in that big massive bowl I have there. 12 packs of ramen, some Chinese noodles, some pork, some chicken. I got some scallions to put on there. And of course, obviously your chicken flavoring. So yeah, uh, this big, look how big this bowl is. Yeah, so we're gonna fill this thing up. Let's do it. So we got the uh, ramen here. I do know for a fact that if you cook two boxes of this, it's about 16 pounds. Mr. Pool confirmed that one time already. But uh, mm. so we got 12 packs. Technically, if you cook this, it should be about eight pounds. And we also got some pork here. We got some sweet teriyaki pork I'm gonna slice up. And I also got some chicken. We're gonna take this stuff out to the grill. So as soon as this stuff starts boiling, ramen. Comment below, chicken or beef? Like, put your hands on the noodles. Put your hands on the noodles. Chicken or beef? Chicken. What movie is it from? Comment below. So we have a uh, pork tenderloin here. And I'm going to attempt to cut this thing thin because that's usually how it's served. Pull it out. Usually served relatively thin, right? Kind of like that. We also have some um, boiled eggs too. Some uh, hard boiled eggs. Well, the pork Jeez, you need to clean your grill mat. additional flavoring. Getting wrecked by that. I am getting there. wrecked. I should have should have peeled them yesterday. Right? Yeah, six bricks in each. At least we will once we. A lot of ramen. What was it like when you tried to eat 16 pounds of it? Awful. Was it awful? It was very salty. I can see that. It was salty. See, that just seems awful. It seems like an awful lot. Can you actually, like, um, make your own ramen noodles? I would assume. Like, versus just, I mean, obviously way more cost effective to buy them like this, but... I guess you could hypothetically. Alright, so you got these in. It's actually not burning. Mm -hmm. Alright, Mr. Pool, we got our pork. Our pork cooking, we got our chicken cooked up. Of course it's the chicken is pre cooked. Okay. I feel like that pork's not gonna take real long, right? Shouldn't. I feel like it's I feel like it's pretty good. We got a green onion.
What do you think of that, Mr. Pool? We got our uh, got our hard boiled eggs here. Our yolks got dark. What does that mean, Mr. Pool? You cooked them too long. You boiled them too long. <clears throat> I'd like to point out we got some uh, new giant creation oven mitts because the last ones were pretty shot. Not gonna yeah. lie, they were in pretty yes, bad shape. They were. All right, so we got one of these going in here. There's one. And we got our second one going in. There's our second one, Mr. Pool. This, like, salt basin, like. All right, we're flavored. I'm gonna bring our greens in. Green onions smell good, you know. They're, I don't know. They're just they don't overpower like regular onions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Come in, we got our chicken and our pork here cooked, cooked to perfection. All I can smell is chicken flavoring in that room. Hmm? All I can smell is those chicken packets. Chicken rotten pan. A couple of those on the top for good measure. Voila! Oh, the Debbie! I have no inspiration. No aspirations. <laughs> All right, Killer Clinic. So, as you can see in the previous clips, there, Mr. Pool and myself went ahead and put together this pork and chicken ramen challenge. I have no aspirations to ever open like an ethnic restaurant, but if I did, I think I got a, a pretty good job. We're gonna give this thing a few minutes to cool down, as you can see, then we're gonna get into it. All right, so I gave this thing a few minutes to cool down. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. I, I mean, didn't wanna burn my face off, but I also didn't wanna eat it cold either. So without further ado, the killer size ramen noodle challenge. Three, two, one, ramen noodles. There's 12 packages in here, delicious ramen. I got my hard boiled eggs floating around. They're overcooked because uh, I put them on last night and then forgot about them. They have Yeah, they were. And for those of you that are missing the carbo, she's in attendance tonight. Hard boiled eggs are hard boiled eggs, though. They were pretty good. This pork, it's like a sweet teriyaki pork one. Boy, is that ever good. This thing's still gonna burn my face. I actually didn't burn this on the grill, I was impressed. It was the only way. I was impressed. It's cooked, it's cooked perfect. Look at that perfect cook. Sure was smoking for you. That one. I think that was the, the garbage on the mat. This thing's a beast. I'd say with the broth, this is about a 12 pound gallon. Did you say that's accurate? I think I've only ever seen one bigger than this. And Darren did it in um, Arlington, Virginia, I believe. Gaijin rum. You don't even chicken, got some grilled chicken in here. 
or it's with some music. I don't know, I can't remember that, so. Mm -hmm. I can't even blame you on that one. I think that dude is stupid. Like, it's not even like what he does, it's his voice. Yeah. It is strictly his voice. If he's Chinese meals, they're really good. Carpets, they don't taste like anything. I think they taste like what goes on top of wonton soup. I'm gonna have to put some ice in this thing. It's like blazing hot. I think you're right. This thing's blazing hot. Look at that. Wow. I'm gonna need some more ice in this thing. For those of you who think that that's cheating by putting ice in there, it's actually adding weight to the challenge. Oh, she doesn't splash me in the face and burn it off. What more? Hmm. No. Let's see how that fares. I have some, <clears throat> some in the closet. Nose is starting to run away. Because it's so hot. Because it's blistering hot. Huh? The real challenge is try to eat this without getting third degree burn. Another piece of that pork, that stuff. It's really good. If you're wondering, it's made by Smithyfield. I don't know, I might have the car, but put one more cup of ice in there. I think it'll be perfect. Yeah, you didn't know that? I knew that. Carbo said she wants to uh, try to attempt to cook a giant food for me and eat it, and that will be a challenge in its own right. Trying to eat my food. <laughs> Both, maybe comment below if you want to see Damon and Kylie, Kylie's boyfriend, make me a giant food creation and see if I can actually get through it. You guys should try to make like a gigantic scrum bowl. Could it be like anything? As long as it's not gross. <laughs> like fish. People love that. The gurgle blur. Uh, Got some broth and some junk left. I'm gonna switch over to chug mode. 
this is how we do it. This thing was a beast. It's heavier it's heavier than I thought it was. Can't forget the <laughs> I think it was over two pounds of liquid. Plus, I put two cups of ice in it. Just make sure you get all of it. Carbon, let me out easy on this one. You could lift the bowl too if I. Mm, I'm gonna put it Noodle smoothies. One cup away from victory. Ugh. Wow. Seventeen twenty three. Twenty nine. Killer clan. So there you have it. The uh, killer take on a giant ramen challenge. Whew. That thing's got me all hot. And bothered but if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't it's free I mean there's a lot of places you can go and watch food but this guy does some crazy stuff like giant ramen bowls and huge sandwiches and gigantic burp burps Ugh. ramen burp Follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at the killer Kennedy and until next time go get some 50 cent ramen packets and have yourself a bowl it's like a regular bowl don't cook a whole box. That's crazy. Take it easy.